All right, so I'm Juha from Hukol. You may remember, uh, you may remember uh, my, my business partners praising Flutter during the keynote speech, and I'm here to keep it up. So I'll talk a bit about Flutter from the perspective of software development in a high-growth startup company. So we are a young company. We just started five months ago, and we we really uh, going trying to go light speed. And my our idea is to develop a mobile man, social media management app that would be easy to use, uh, smooth user interface, and so on. So basically, uh, our strategic purpose was to to really focus on the user experience. So web app development wasn't an option. What we needed was the smooth user experience and pretty much native-like performance. Uh, so uh, basically, we, we couldn't think of going like web app development. We wanted the, although we did want the app for both iOS and Android in cost-efficient way, it kind of seemed that, that we couldn't get all of these that we, were, we wanted. So originally, like during the summer, uh, for about a month, our plan was to go Android first. So for, forget about iOS. Uh, since uh, it, it seemed impossible to do what all that we wanted to do. However, uh, one of our developers, Iro, who is here, um, suggested that we could go Flutter. Maybe that would help solve our problems. So we looked into it, and. You know, for our purposes, Flutter seemed to have exactly what we needed. Basically, more or less native-like performance, cross-platform development, uh, and it seemed stable enough. However, it was still in this alpha phase, and we were kind of uh, worried as we were a, a small startup, and it would be a kind of a betting on our company on a new, new technology. So. Uh, we started doing due diligence, and it basically took us two months of looking into the technology, looking into what you can do with it, how stable it is, and so on, to decide, finally decide to go Flutter. And when we did, well, it's basically the best decision we made, uh, as it took us less, less than half the time uh, of what we took to actually uh, look into the technology to actually develop a first working demo that we could then show to investors uh, and to, to use for customer testing. So basically, in one month from the start of coding, we had a working demo for both iOS and Android that we presented in a, in a big Finnish uh, startup uh, event slush in Helsinki, and all of this was basically done by Eero himself. So uh, I am obviously not a technology guy, I'm a business guy, but we had a, had some talk with our developers, or Eero in particular, and uh, the things that uh, came out about uh, Flutter and why it was so great. The two things that, that uh, he wanted to bring up was, first of all, the customization of user interface. So uh, apparently, um, that the customization of UI features is something that's quite unique for Flutter and that you can do really easy and really well. And another thing that we've already uh, heard uh, people talk here is the hot reload with states option that radically speaks of product development. And in terms of technology, we really haven't had any, any issues so far. So, so, I mean, even though it's, it's still an alpha stage, it, it hasn't caused us literally any, any problems on the technology front. So, so uh, as already mentioned, we have now the ver working beta version that has the, the backend integration. You can use it. You can use it to manage your social media. Uh, at this point, you can uh, do Facebook and uh, Twitter with it. So download it uh, for either iOS or, uh, or Google uh, or Android uh, from uh, Google Play or uh, from our website, google.net. So, so it has all kinds of cool features. It uses all kinds of cool Flutter technology that I don't know anything about. But you can ask, when you, when you download it and look how great it is, you can ask Eero how he did it. Eero, can you stand up? So Eero basically did it himself. So download our app and, and try to break it because you're testing it, you're beta testing it. So try to break it. And if you can break it, 
tell Ira what you did and, uh, and he'll fix it. Thank you.